Hi, welcome back to my post-run stretching series. This is part five. I'm Dr. Greg Smiley, and I'm gonna guide you through hips. Now these are your abductor muscles. They come from your iliac crest, the bone up here, the, the side of the pelvis, and go down onto your greater trochanter here. And the muscles that come down through here are the ones that we're looking for. They do this motion, but most importantly, they stop us from collapsing and falling over because I can lift my leg and have my pelvis stay stable because these guys are all engaged. Wonderful. Common problem is ITB problems, iliotibial band, which comes from the greater trochanter, greater trochanter and runs all the way down to the tibia. This is from where these muscles come down. They join on to this bony prominence here, the greater trochanter, and then the they join with the fascia which wraps around the muscles. It's like the cling wrap of the body. And it creates this seam line, much like this seam line here, that comes all the way down and comes in here. If you have knee, knee pain with going downstairs or down hills, because you've ramped up your training really fast, that's a super common problem, this stretch is to be the one for you. But you should do it after every run. So, you need a wall or something to hang on to. It can be flat doesn't matter. You're going to stand about, well, just slightly less than an arm's width away from whatever that surface is. It could be a bench, it could be a table. The standing leg, the one furthest from the post, is the one that you're going to be stretching. Cross the other leg in front. The goal is then to kick this hip way out. And then we bring the hand over like this. Now before I get into full demo, something that I take for granted sometimes, is my hand here and my heel are lined up with each other. So I'm not set up like this, and I'm not set up like this, where my foot is in front or behind that. I always line my heel up with my hand, and that'll be evident why in a sec. If my heel, if, if my foot's too far apart, I can't kick my hip out as far. If my foot's too close, I can't get over as far. A little bit of Goldilocks here. We want it to be just right. So, I kick my hip way out. It'll feel like, oh my gosh, it shouldn't go that far. It's okay, it does. And then we come over and over, and you have to know where your limits are, so make sure you always respect that and do what's right for you. So, and then I bring in this hand over down to this one. It's like the ballet bar class that you probably never took, or maybe you did, and good for you. And they're good classes. So, you're gonna feel this stretch from here all the way down through here. And it's wonderful. You're gonna do that on both sides, and whenever you come out, you're gonna come out simply the way I, I just did. It's really important, we don't just stand up. You're gonna bring the arm back and around as you're coming out. And yes, that is a little bit more ballet-esque. Learn something from people who do that all the time. If you just jump out of it, you're gonna have muscles start seizing. And that's going to be the opposite of what you want to achieve. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you at part six.